Hello everyone and welcome to Dark Kings TV, your home for everything entertainment. Before you do any other thing, subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell that is behind the subscribe button that is the red bell button you can see. That is going to notify you of our fresh updates. To continue to be a part of this community, please engage with our content by dropping a comment or two. Like and share everything you see from our end. We will be glad you... Hey, yo, from welcome to another session with us another time. Another period of art juice with us on the Kings TV. So whatever you are doing today, do not forget we love you. Never forget to hit the subscribe button. Do not forget to share all the videos on this channel. And do well to like this video and all the videos on this YouTube channel. Like, we love you. So today, as usual, I'm bringing you the art gist, another art gist. So today, I'm going to be giving you, as it is concerning the Oluwo of Iwo's oncoming marriage with the niece of Emir of Kano. Yeah, so the Oluwo of Iwo, the person of Adewali Akon, the tell one. Yeah, we all know, yeah, he's... Is is a new dynamic, like a different dynamic to all the all brands in Yoruba land. But well, leave it that. So the Oluwo of Iwo who divorced his Jamaican wife, so is ready, is ready to get married again, in fond love again, in an extremely beautiful princess. Yeah, the granddaughter of Ado Bayero of Kano, yeah, the niece to the president Emir of Kano, and the wedding is set. From this year, the wedding is set for March 2022, March 19. So, and it's going to be holding at the residence of the Mother King of Kano in the ancient city of Kano. I mean, yeah, you know, the only one of you is, I cannot put controversial king, but it's a, it's a new dynamic of king to the different kings of no nearby land. I mean, he has a different way of doing these things that yeah, we can't we can't all deny that so the olu of iwo is set to marry princess for dows of the lie of the royal family and can i mean yeah the lucas so i can call this inter-tribal marriage well we need something like that in this country you know, to foster love for the inter-tribe we really need that so after the marriage is Old in, in March 1920, I mean, the marriage is going to hold on March 20, 19, 2022 at the residence of the Mother King of Kano in the ancient city of Kano. So, a reception that is strictly for ladies. Mm. Don't forget, I said this man is does his thing in a dynamic way, actually. So, the reception is strictly for ladies and it will hold at the Gidan Room for the palace of the Emir of Kano. Don't forget, the princess is a niece to the present Emir of Kano. So, the reception is going to all oh, that's the palace of Emir of Kano. The only war of Iwo, yeah, he divorced this Jamaican one in 2019. Yeah, when he was enthroned, then he that was when when he was enthroned on November 2015, yeah, age 48. That was when he got married to his first wife, a Jamaican named Chanel Chin. Yeah, Chanel Chin. So that was shortly after he was enthroned. And so the union was dissolved due to irreconcilable differences. Yeah, according to the king, according to the monarch, the marriage was dissolved due to irreconcilable differences, and the union produced a son named Odudua. Yeah, he named his first son Odudua. So the union of the king and uh, the Jamaican beautiful queen brought about um the son Janel brought about Odudua. So and do not forget Miss Shin, Miss Chanel Shin is the daughter of the Jamaican registrar Ludlow Shin. Yeah. It's popularly known as Bobo Zaro in Jamaica. So and is known for the song Pain. Song is a popular eat you can check it out. So the song Pain with in collaboration with Capotain of Jamaica too. So that is Lady Shanation's father, a registrar, yeah. I don't know, I can just say the king has a way of picking awesome ladies. I mean, yeah, these new princesses, the 
princess, the wife to be, was described as extremely beautiful. Yeah, it was described as extremely beautiful. She's a 27 year old princess of Kano. And yeah, there is a controversy surrounding the marriage. I mean, there was a letter which surfaced on the internet around February suggesting that the Oluwo is requesting 20 million naira from the governor of Ocean State to finance the wedding. Since, I'm putting this in court, since it was a marriage of two important institutions in Nigeria. Wow. The letter was dated, stamped February 20. It was dated and stamped February 8. And the letter actually sparked a huge controversy. I mean, Nigerians have a lot to say about that letter. Which in which the Lua was demanding 20 million euros to finance the wedding, but well, in no time, the spokesperson for the monarch the son the letter saying the communication did not emanate from the palace. I mean, he said the letter lacked the basic in house ties of Oluwa's correspondent. I mean, it does not look like what the style in which the Oluwa will write his letter. I mean, he says the Oluwa always appends a signature while writing the government, and marriage is a personal affair, there is no marriage venture too big for the only way to finance on his own that was what the palace of Usher said when the letter um, emanated on the internet when it showed up on the internet on february 8th for the 20 million then wow i don't know what to say but taking 20 million if it is really true taking 20 million naira for the wedding because it is going to be a giant of two big institutions well i don't know what to say about that but it has been the soon that the letter was not from the palace, so we can say it is a cruise, and we can't really discern the fact that the letter is coming from somewhere. So it is hinting at something, but we don't know what exactly. So right now we are wishing the Oluwo of a war and the princess Fedaus an happy married life in in France in advance. Princess F um Fedaus Abdullahi of the royal family of Kano. We are wishing. The princess and the Oluo of Igbo, an happy marriage life in advance. Yeah, we won't mind if we get an invite to the wedding so we can give you all full details about the wedding. So, till then, do not forget we love you.